American Business Review, featured on national television, is an industry platform where the spotlight seeks out and shines on the creators and innovators. Because of its commitment to promoting progress, this editorial series recognizes Washington and Lee University. The world of business, it's never been more competitive, more challenging, more rewarding. Growth rates, interest rates, franchising, globalizing, staying private, going public, online, bottom line, the world of business. It's about having good ideas, good technology, and good information. Hello, I'm Morley Saber. The information age is dramatically changing the way our nation is being educated. Notebooks and pencils are rapidly being replaced by monitors and keyboards. And as we learn in this story, these advances create a whole new set of challenges. A plus, it means excellent in the academic world. But for many students at the college level, making this grade on a test, term paper, or project isn't so easy. While some students are willing to make the extra effort, others often take shortcuts. I think there's a variety of reasons that students resort to cheating. I, I think for some, it's just a way of doing things. They've gotten used to it in high school, and it's almost a necessity in order to continue to be successful in the classroom. For another large group, uh, it's really a question of grade competitiveness. They want to go to the best graduate schools. They want to get interviews on campus with the uh, best companies that are interviewing. And they feel that they have to be in the very top of their class in order to be able to do that. And for others, and a very large group, unfortunately, it's the fact that others are cheating. They see others cheating, they see the institution or the faculty member doing very little, if anything, about it. McCabe says one way students can avoid the temptation of cheating and be held accountable for their actions is by adhering to an honor system. It's a set of unwritten guidelines that promote academic integrity and impose strict consequences, such as expulsion for students who cheat, lie, or steal. Many universities have some type of method already in place. The student-run system at Washington and Lee University in Lexington, Virginia, has played an integral role since Robert E. Lee's presidency and has promoted a greater freedom on campus. The honor system grants us the freedom to schedule our own exams, to take them on proctored. It allows our, uh, us to uh, be secure with our possessions around campus. It allows uh, us to be confident that our professors will take us at our word and to enjoy the benefits of, of living in an honorable community. Most of the students uh, really like it, and I think part of it goes to a fairness issue. They think that it helps promote uh, fair play in the classroom. They're all working with the same information and the same level of uh, knowledge or access. Professor Hooks also believes that the honor system can lay a solid foundation of high morals that can be carried over into the workplace. I see students go into the business world all the time, and in the world of business, it is very important that you behave honorably and that your word can be trusted. So uh, students use uh, honor in an everyday way in the business world, and it uh, transmits itself, I think, to the rest of their lives as well. Honor systems are not anachronistic. In fact, they may be more important today than they have been in a long, long time. And the reason for that is there's so many examples today of where people in leadership positions, people in very visible positions, have not been honorable. And as a result, public confidence in our leaders has been shaken in ways, I think, that have not always been the case. Do honor systems fix that? Do honor systems assure that every college graduate will be honorable? No. But do they go a long way to infusing those principles in many of our graduates and many people in this country and showing a dedication to the fact that moral character and moral leadership are part of education? Yes, I think they do. And I think we must continue to emphasize these things in the future. I think for Anacos to have an impact in society, that more and more schools need to introduce them. Unfortunately, what happens in many cases, you'll have a student that goes to a school with a strong honor code tradition and they'll incorporate those values into their own value set, but then when they get out in the corporate world and are interfacing with people that have not had that same experience, I think there's an erosion that occurs over time. 
So I don't think the solution is getting any one school to change its policies. What we need to do is get a lot of schools to change their policies. Honesty is considered a crucial element in a student's academic career. Institutions of higher learning that encourage and support this principle may be teaching them one of the most valuable lessons of life. Good ideas and sound business decisions are crucial in today's competitive climate. This series will continue to bring you the newest trends and innovations. Thanks for watching. When I was interviewed for the presidency at Washington and Lee, I asked this question. Is there anything at Washington and Lee that the new president cannot examine for possible change at the university? Is there anything that's off the table? I expected them to say no. Instead, I got an answer which I subsequently learned is a much better answer. Yes, I was told, there's one thing, the honor system. That defines who we are. That cannot change. That's the essence of Washington and Lee. It's one of the unique features of Washington and Lee. Honesty, integrity here help define the moral base on which many other decisions are made. The honor system teaches students the value of making honorable choices. We're faced with temptation uh, every day uh, to look at a book during a take-home exam, to turn in another student's work, and the honor system helps students realize that what may seem in their interest in the short term is not in their interest in the long term as, as far as the, the personal integrity you gain from making the honorable choice and, and doing the right thing and being able to look at yourself in the mirror knowing that you did what was expected of you by your peers. Once again, American Business Review extends a special thanks to the companies and organizations that have risen to meet the challenges of today's competitive business arena. This has been a presentation of WJMK.